So there are some 68,000 people experiencing homelessness in Chicago. A staggering number that is the driving force behind the mission of one local nonprofit. And through outreach, they are providing a threshold to new beginnings. Casey Cronus has more. Navigating a hectic world can be difficult enough, but without a place to call home, it's even more daunting. Doing outreach every day looks a lot different. It's why one Chicago nonprofit is dedicated to giving everyone a shot at living an independent and healthy life. Founded in 1959, Thresholds works to pave a pathway for unhoused individuals and those suffering mental health and substance use disorders, helping them reclaim their lives through care, employment, advocacy, and housing. And what's at the heart of what we do is that we essentially um, work to build trust um, and relationships with folks. Christian Zimarego is the program director for Homeless Outreach. What we know is that services are extremely effective when we go out in the community and bring services to individuals. CTA is where many of Chicago's unhoused individuals find shelter. Are you currently experiencing homelessness? Donning vests, Thresholds Outreach workers are equipped with snack packs, Here we have hygiene kits, and paperwork. So I'm just going to ask you some questions. To help them get started. But yeah, we can give you um, vouchers for certificates, homeless verification letters to get a free ID. At the Red Lines Lake Street Station, a team recently met Willie and his dog. He's been living on trains, looking to find his footing. Once you get the hard copy, you can go get your social security card. Interactions that might seem simple, but are monumental to those receiving support. Appreciate y'all. Along with outreach across platforms, Thresholds has boots on the ground that reach all parts of the city. In January, the organization launched its West Side Homeless Outreach Team. What makes it unique? We are the only outreach team um, who has a nurse that is conducting outreach with our outreach workers. The nurse has an ability to provide life-saving critical services to individuals uh, experiencing homelessness who face a lot of barriers accessing traditional health care settings. Askali Facey Phillips is the team nurse, performing medical assessments and providing wound care at encampments, helping clients coordinate doctor's appointments and track their medications. Day to day, she's joined by outreach workers like Lillian Risser. When we're canvassing, we just kind of go up to encampments that we see or individuals that we see at, you know, bus stops or under viaducts. Together, the team helps them navigate the health care system and get the care they need. The services to individuals is really important because when you are struggling with a serious mental illness, um, it's not the easiest to go out and find resources for yourself. But it's more than resources. The team is also there to listen to their stories, their concerns. I think what's important about what we do is that we, we always come back. As Facey Phillips explains, even if today is not the day an individual is ready to accept support, tomorrow might be. And that's the thought behind what we, how we approach individuals. Their distrust of people in general is very high. You come around as often as we do. We build that relationship and establish that rapport. They, you know, start warming up to us. Thresholds as a whole serves thousands each year. And since the West Side team was launched, they've connected with more than 150 people. A lot of the times we see that yield great reward and really great outcomes. One great outcome is Carrie Moore. I met Threshold and they got me back on my feet. Moore has been living without a roof over his head for more than six years. His journey of being unhoused stemming from heartbreak. It was like I was hiding the pain. Several years ago, he tells us his daughter was murdered, and soon after, he lost his mom. And it just led me out to the streets. So I've been on the streets ever since. With Threshold's help, Moore is now looking to a brighter future and will soon be moving into his very own apartment in Garfield Park. That's a big step for me. One step that will lead to many more.
the best part of it isn't just that like what we're doing, but getting to see these people take change into their own hands. We have to give them a little bit more grace. I think that's what we do, you know, give them a second chance. Just support them because they do need support. I think everybody needs support. In addition to teams on the ground, Thresholds also operates from 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. every Wednesday at Harold Washington Library, where resources are available to new and existing clients. Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.